Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Buffalo Bills versus New England Patriots Week 16 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various variables. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So... Uh, starting out with this matchup between the Bills and the Patriots. Uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data for those that might be new to the show, is just looking at how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing based on team-based statistical data uh, compared to every single team since 1998. And... Based on all of these factors, uh, the Patriots, of course, are heavily favored in this game. Uh, so let's get into some reasons why. Uh, first off, offensively speaking, uh, the Patriots are very impressive when it comes to turnover ratio. Uh, much, you know, much more impressive than the Bills. They're also better when it comes to sack percentage, so they don't allow as many sacks compared to the Bills. And that's been one of the major issues with this Bills offense this entire season has been their sack percentage. Uh, and that's continued to be an issue going, you know, up to this point. And, of course, offensive score percentage is also heavily favoring the Patriots in this regard. Uh, you know, the, the Patriots are just one of the top teams in the NFL when it comes to offensive score percentage. Which is a major factor to winning football games. Uh, and defensively speaking, although the Bills have some areas where they are better, uh, the Bills typically have, they create turnovers. And they get interceptions more often, but the Patriots defense performs better when it comes to defensive offensive score percentage, which is the ability to prevent points, which is very important. In fact, the most important defensive statistic on here. And when it comes to sack percentage. Uh, so in many ways, the Patriots have the better defense just because they may not get all the sexy plays. So the Patriots defense is probably not going to end up with turnovers in this game or interceptions, but... They prevent points. So the one thing that the Patriots defense has done to improve itself this year the most is preventing points on a per drive basis. Uh, so that's definitely kind of the thing to kind of consider as well, which is another reason why the Patriots are favored is that they just have the better offense and the better defense when it comes to what counts the most to winning. Then, of course, when you get to special teams data, uh, this particular area, the Bills are favored in terms of punt return yardage. The Patriots are favored in terms of kick return yardage, defensive punt return yardage, and defensive kick return yardage favor the Patriots as well. Field goal percentage favors the Patriots, uh, extra point percentage favors the Bills, and punting average favors the Bills as well. In terms of who has the better special teams, it's, it's pretty obvious it's the Patriots. Now, uh, the reason why is because of the field goal percentage. As I tell you guys every week, or at least I try to remind you guys every single week, the most important statistic in terms of special teams data is field goal percentage. It's the most practical. It makes the most sense. If you have a field goal kicker that can consistently hit three-pointers more often than the other team, then you're just going to end up winning more football games. You know, Because if you miss three points, you're not putting points on the board. You're making it less likely for you to win that football game if you don't put points on the board. You know, It's pretty... It's, it's, it's that simple at times. So, uh, again, when you look at most of the special teams data, it does favor the Patriots, mainly because of that field goal percentage data. So, on offense, the Patriots are favored. On defense, the Patriots are favored as well in terms of uh, a category that really matters in winning. And the same holds for their field goal percentage. And that is why the Patriots are so heavily favored in this game. Now, when you get to some other sort of data points, uh, so now we're getting into... Um, some micro data, situational football, as Bill Belichick likes to put it at times. Uh, looking at completion percentage data between the Bills offense and the Patriots defense. Uh, the Bills are favored in terms of first and third down when it comes to completion percentage. So definitely these areas are, are where the Bills are going to be favored the most. 
uh, in terms of the Patriots defense, uh, you know, kind of having issues. Uh, and then, of course, we look at the Patriots offense versus the Bills defense, and the Patriots just have kind of a clean sweep on first, second, and third down. So, again, the Patriots offense is going to have a lot of success in this game. Uh, I mean, it just looks that way based on all the data. Uh, then, of course, you get to rushing downs between the Bills offense and the Patriots defense. And, again, first down conversion rate with the run. Um, doesn't really have anything to do with yardage or explosive plays. It purely has to do with the ability to get first downs with the run in various downs and distances. So if you're able to get a first down with the run on first and 10 more often than every other team, you're going to score higher. And, of course, all the other downs and distances. And in this area, the Bills are actually favored on first and third down. The one defense, the one aspect of the Patriots' defense that continues to be an issue is their run defense. Run defense doesn't really matter as much to winning football games as much as pass D does. But this is just something to kind of think about in this game in particular. The Bills will probably have success rushing the football. Then, of course, you get to the Patriots' offense versus the Bills' defense when it comes to rushing downs. And in this area, the Patriots are favored in terms of first and second down. Uh, the, the, the Pats continue to be somewhat inconsistent on third down, uh, but definitely more so favored the Pats in terms of first and second. Then, of course, we get to passing downs uh, between the Bills offense and the Patriots defense. Uh, in this particular area, the Patriots are favored on second and third down. So definitely more so favors the Patriots in terms of those particular downs and distances. Then we get to the Patriots offense versus the Bills defense when it comes to uh, conversion rate with the pass. And as you can clearly see, like it's a clean sweep as well. Just like the completion percentage data, uh, the Patriots are fantastic on first down, fantastic on second down, and fantastic on third down when it comes to their ability to convert first downs and those downs and distances. Then we get to sack rate uh, between the Bills offense and the Patriots defense, where surprisingly the Patriots are favored, not by a heavy margin, but when you look at first down, the Patriots are a little bit better in terms of getting sacks in those situations. And when you look at second down, the Patriots are also a little bit better as well in that situation. Um, so when it comes to those particular situations, I think the Patriots are more likely to, to get sacks in those particular situations, whether it's first down or second down. Then, of course, you get to sack rate for the Patriots offense versus the Bills defense. And in this particular area, the Patriots are favored on first and second down. The only down and distance to really pay attention to is second down. That's by far the worst down and distance that the Patriots have in terms of giving up sacks. And on top of that, the Bills are at least average when it comes to their ability to create sacks on that down and distance. So that would be the main matchup to watch is that second down situation. And then fine, and then, then we get into interception ratio between the Bills offense and the Patriots defense. Uh, where the Bills are favored on second and third down. I mean, again, the Bills don't really have issues in terms of turnovers, uh, so that's never really been their issue. And then finally, we get to the Patriots offense versus Bills defense when it comes to interception ratio, where the Patriots are favored on first and second down. But one thing that has continued to be somewhat of an issue is third down. So most of the interceptions that the Patriots have thrown have come on third down. That also happens to be the down and distance where the Bills have a lot of success getting picks and turnovers. Um, so that would be kind of the, the only down and distance to monitor and pay attention to uh, for the most part. Now, overall thoughts and opinions on this football game. It should be obvious that it's a Patriots victory. Uh, I don't really see much kind of to get that on my mind. Offensively, they have it. Uh, they're one of the best offenses in the NFL right now currently when it comes to their ability to put points on the board on every single drive. Uh, defensively, they're at least a above average defense in terms of preventing points. And special teams wise, they have it where it counts uh, as well. So overall, I just think again, Patriots victory. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well uh, with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that I'm always reminded uh, uh, or so, so that you're always reminded uh, when a new video of mine comes out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.